What is up guys, this is Blake from the channel Lynx Co, and today I'm bringing you another Black Ops 2 commentary. Now again, I'm bringing you a game of Team Deathmatch with the Remington on the map Slums. Alright, we're going to go ahead and dive on today's topic. Now, as you guys know, there was an exclusive Call of Duty Ghost all access thing today at E3 that kind of show that kind of revealed some key points of Call of Duty Ghost. And I'm just today the topic of this is how can Infinity Ward ultimately make Call of Duty Ghost better? Now I have three things that would overall improve the game. The first thing would be custom score streaks. Now I don't mean all of the score streaks are custom, but one in particular. Now in all the Black Ops, Black Ops One and Two, they have had the attack dogs kill streak. Now, dogs are pretty cool, but it's just typical. I mean, if you want to have some fun with it, then you should be able to custom pick animals to attack. Like, I'd much rather get 11 kill streak and get, like, attack elephants than attack dogs. I mean, the sky's the limit with this. Really, any animal that you can think of, attack giraffes, attack birds, attack fish. I don't know how you would do attack fish, but it, I mean, we would do it. They have to, I mean, these are key things that make the games better and more fun. The second thing, I mean, the nukes are getting kind of old. I mean, I know they haven't, I know, okay, the nuke has only been in one game, but the idea of it has been in most Call of Duties. Modern Warfare 2, it was obviously the nuke score streak. Now Black Ops they didn't have a nuke. And Modern Warfare 3 they brought in the Moab. Same thing as a nuke. Then in Black Ops 2 they had the nuclear kill streak, or not a kill streak, but the nuclear thing. Same same concept as a nuke. Now today at the E3 reveal they showed a specific underwater portion of the of the story mode and they really wanted to capitalize on how how this is running on the new engine and the new Xbox One and how the water is so much better so if they're really capitalizing on the water why use nukes if you can use a tsunami I mean a tsunami will do the same thing as a nuke it'll wipe the whole map it'll even kill you I mean why not change things up a little bit I mean they even said new engine Brand new Call of Duty. No. With this new engine, the, all the Call of Duties are going to be the same. they got to take my ideas into perspective. Like, if they want to make Call of Duty better, they got to listen to me. And then the third idea that I have... So everyone's making a big deal about how a dog is going to play a big role in the game. Now, that's fine, but a lot of people don't generally get Call of Duty for the story mode. A lot of people typically get Call of Duty for the online multiplayer. So, if they're really trying to implement the dogs into Call of Duty, then why only put them in story mode? I mean, the possibilities are endless with this. More dog kill streaks possibly, or even better, dog like party modes like dog deathmatch where everybody plays as a dog, but you get to kill other dogs, or dogs versus humans, why not, I mean the sky's the limit with this idea, or dog domination, dog confirmed, capture the dog, I don't know, I'm just spitballing some ideas, but implementing dogs into multiplayer would definitely make this Call of Duty Ghost a lot more appealing to not only hardcore Call of Duty players, but as well dog lovers. If they figure out they can play as a dog, why wouldn't they get it? I mean, it only makes sense, right? Alrighty, well, my commentary is now coming to an end. This was a fantastic shotgun gameplay. I end up going 32 and 6.
in Team Deathmatch on the map Slums. Absolutely beautiful. Now, if you guys liked my Call of Duty Ghost ideas, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It really helps get my channel out there. And don't forget to subscribe because a lot more Black Ops 2 videos will be coming. Well, this has been Blake. As always, have a nice day.